shots in goal. They decided to throw for it, but the coverage was excellent. And he kept holding the ball, hoping someone would shake free. Instead, he's hit and drop. And now, they're not even in the red zone anymore. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind nice. the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight ahead pursuit. A great read and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. If they move, we hit it. If they move, we hit it. That's certainly playing down a distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want. All right, force him into a field goal. And we'll go down and score again. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Another carry now for Gurley. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know. Well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. On first down, it's gone. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And yeah, baby. This across that speed. Inside the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Another nice pick up through the air. And I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon. But with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Give him three on first down. He'll set up a second and seven. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Uh, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. That's going to be complete to his tight end, Everett. There we go. And he's going to get this keep down moving. near keep the moving. 20 yard let's line. Go, let's go. 12 yards there as they mm. keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. He's been the go to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down in bounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And he's got going him. to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Rams add on to their lead. Okay, we feel pretty safe now. Still going to have to get a stop, though, because if they score, they're only down by 11. Ready? All day, just like that. Just like that. Ready, ready? They'll come out throwing here on first down. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. 
Give him nine there on the first down completion. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time? David Long wanted that one. Win. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Looking to throw. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a first down here. At Go ahead. Take four. those little out routes. You guys are running your own clock out. Over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Well, here's a first down throw. It's complete. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. They'll set up the throw. He's going to launch this thing nope. way downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. They'll drop the throw. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. The completion good for three and it's second down. They are running out their own clock. Two minutes left to play with in me. this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football. It's going to drop everybody in the zone. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Here's a second and seven. And that's going to be incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and seven. He'll drop the throw. His throw caught at about the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, yeah. And he'll get blown up behind they the They tried to hurry up. Back at the six. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground. It's too late now. Down. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now back to throw. Oh, and that's nice. Be knocked away in the end zone. Nice job. It's incomplete. David Long, the rookie from West Virginia, there defensively. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. The quick nope. slant caught. A great open field tackle is going to stop on, him shy of the goal Let's line. Go. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And it's becoming increasingly clear now that the Rams are going to win this football game. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. All right, let's just sim the rest. So the L.A. Rams Game over. were the victory here. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal, in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal. 
that's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for Los Angeles, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they'll fall to 1-1. One and, one. and they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire... All right, Khalil Thomas already leveling up. I love it. Plus three awareness, plus three block shedding. Hell yeah. I love it. Okay. Anybody else we got to upgrade? Jawan Taylor, I'll do it. Let's take a look at his weaknesses. <clears throat> he doesn't have many. His lowest is run blocking and run block power. So he gets pat more pass block power. <laughs> Great, Nicole Hardman. Get him a little route running. Okay, so it looks like Todd Gurley wants a five year deal. Brandon Cooks is 29 years old and wants a four-year deal. Oh, man, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. What's the cap hit on this? $9 million cap hit. Man, that's a lot of money. $14 million cap hit? My God. I'm gonna I'm gonna table this stuff. First I gotta sign Gilkey and Willis. I gotta sign them first. That is a lot of money to go throwing around. Let's take a look at our scouting.
All right, do I want to play the Cardinals or do I want to sim this game? I feel like I want to sim it. They're only 74 overall and they don't have any X factors. And we're at home. I think I'm going to sim this one. Watch us lose, right? We lost. <laughs> we freaking lost to the fucking Cardinals who are horrible. Can't believe it. Bengals are 0 and 3. <laughs> you might have to scout another running back in case. In case uh, Todd Gurley walks away. Uh, it doesn't look like there's uh, one that sticks out. I don't want to sim this game too, since the Bengals are 0 3. I'm going to go ahead and sim this one too. They're 0 3. And there's no way we could lose to the Cardinals and the Bengals in back to back weeks, right? We tied. We freaking tied. So dumb. Best team in the league, and we lost to the Cardinals, and we tie the Bengals. So dumb. I mean, hell, the Dallas Cowboys last year, who had a dominant team record, uh, you know, talent-wise, only went nine and seven. So, what does that tell you? The simulation engine is not very good. Brandon Cooks is frustrated.
49ers are 0-5. <laughs> uh, let's upgrade some of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and look at my formation subs. Make sure that uh, this this one kid is in more, a little bit more on the defense. Dion Beckett, I want to make sure he's in more. 52. Was he the slot guy? Big nickel. Okay, that's fine. For the big nickel, that's fine. What about the regular nickel? Okay, Taylor wraps up there. Adrian Perkins is in there. Normal nickel. Okay, that'll do. That was my main concern. Dime. I think I already did nickel, right? Yeah, we're good. How's our goal line defense? 
That's that's pretty fine. All right, that's what I wanted to change because TJ Day went us off the field too much. We need to fix that. Hmm. I think Todd's pretty safe for a five-year deal. <laughs> The financial side needs some work. I'll well, screw you then, Todd. Okay. <laughs> Nobody wants to stay. Finally. Jam. All right, I'd like to sim this game against the 49ers since they're 0-5, but I guess I'm going to have to play it because you never know if we're going to win or lose on these sim games. And plus, I'm mad at the computer anyway for making me lose to the Cardinals, who are horrible, and then tie the Bengals. So we clearly need to get in here and take out some anger. Everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Yeah, a few short moments ago, running back Tom Gurley trying to fire up the Ram faithful here in Southern California as his guys get set to do battle with the San Francisco 49ers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in with some fresh legs as they got the week off last week thanks to the early season bye. And usually you hope your bye comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance to get fresh legs back, you take that time and you run with it. On the other side of the field for the visiting 49ers, they come in pretty desperate here for a win as they've started the year 0-5. And, and it seems way too early to start talking about hot seats. But guess what? When a team is 0-5, people start wondering about their jobs. Okay, here we go. I think we should be able to do some man coverage. And he 
He's upended after a game.